Hey friends! So February is over and we're into March now. Um, so crazy, the month flew by. I wanted to go over, so I did last month my five and five, so five things in five minutes, and I'm going to do it again and do it every month because it's my new passion project for 2017. So, um, what happened in February? Hmm. Finished my eighth whole 30. That was pretty cool. Um, eight is a lot, and I'm still learning a lot about myself and my body through the whole process, so it's really cool. If you've done one, do seven more. Keep learning. Um, I went to New York City for work for one of my clients. Um, that was a lot of fun, but we got snowed in. There was some stressful moments and little sleep. Um, but we ended up going to see Phantom of the Opera on Broadway, so, like, I loved that because I've never been to, like, a New York City Broadway show. It was amazing. <laughs> Lots of champagne and stuff. I had two yoga teacher trainings in February, like, weekends. Um, they were intense and physical and emotional and... Yeah, I wrote about them, so there are blog posts about those on my blog now. You can go read about that there. Um, I started the program 40 Days to a Personal Revolution through 502 Power Yoga in partnership with Rainbow Blossom, and it's been amazing and challenging and really cool to meet some new people in the community. Um, what else? Uh, Chandler was here a lot, so that has been really great. Um... I spoke to the class at IUS. So I went to IUS, um, graduated four years ago, and then now one of my best friends is teaching there, and she invited me to come speak to her class. So it was kind of this really weird, surreal, um, Twilight Zone type thing where I was standing in front of the class talking to the students about my career. Um, really cool. I bought a fish, a gorgeous fish that like looks like a unicorn, so pretty. Um, I've been making some new recipes, so be on the lookout for those. I created a new three-day clean eating guide that's kind of like a kickstart to being interested in Whole30. Um, it's on my blog for free. You can download it and check it out. What else? Oh, I've been at Leap for four years. What? So weird. Um, yeah, so what didn't happen? Um, Last month, and for a few months now, I've been saying I'm going to get my car maintenance, and I did not do that. So March, for sure, <laughs> I'm going to get, like, my oil changed and stuff. Um, it didn't get married. There was this thing on Facebook that said eating dinner with my husband. or whatever. It was a joke. So we are not married. <laughs> we are very happy. We are not married. Um, I said I was going to get a passport. I still haven't gotten a passport. It keeps getting pushed off. It's going to happen. Um, and then, like, I've not been blogging as much or been very timely about my blogs. So, sorry about that. Um, unexpected things. So, my fish, Cosmo, died. <laughs> Sad about it. Um, he was a beautiful fish. And he died. So, Cosmo's gone. Yeah. Ugh. Anyway, um, one of my very best friends who kind of went out of my life for a little bit is back, so I'm really happy about that. But one of my other best friends that I work with, you all probably know her, Ashley, um, got a new job, so she's leaving me, and I'm really sad. I don't want to talk about it. So um, how am I feeling about the upcoming month? Feeling really good. Um, my nephew turned 10 in March. How weird. Ugh, 10 years ago I watched his little face come into the world. So freaking crazy. Um, he's incredible. Um, I complete yoga teacher training in March, so that's going to be emotional and intense and exciting and sad because I don't want to not see my tribe every day. Well, not every day, but yeah. So I'm just, I'm sad. I don't want to think about that. Um... I'm looking for an intern at work. That's exciting. Farmers markets, like the flea off market and stuff, starts happening in March. So I love, I love the coming of spring, even if the weather's been crazy right now. Um, yeah, we've started like composting for our garden. 
because Maria loves gardening, so I'm really excited about peppers and whatever else she grows back there. <laughs> I'll show you all eventually. Um, yeah, and one learning from last month that I'm going to keep is you can, you can do the work anywhere. So the work on yourself, the work on whatever you're trying to do or accomplish or be better at, you can do it anywhere. I was in New York, and I was in Cincinnati, and I was in a lot of different places where I felt like I couldn't stick to my schedule or stay committed as much because I was distracted or not at home or not in my space, and the truth is you can do it anywhere. You can, you can do the work always, and you can always begin again. So, as we say in yoga teacher training, you are ready now. Do the work. Bye, guys.